Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I will show you how you can create a uh, curtain wall panel, uh, make it more parametric without any nodes in Dynamo or without any scripts, just with formulas in Revit. So what I mean when I saying parametric, for example I have some nodes here, I will extend a bit, a bit far. And you will see now it's slightly become the bigger some panels and yeah you can see now right right now like this so this mean like uh, how far this point then my my panels become bigger so how you can do that uh, I'll show you now so let's get start and first step what we're gonna do we should create new family so let's go to the file let's go to the new one and let's create the family. Today we will use only the metric generic uh, model adaptive and only this template. Let's open up and let's work here. And now we will go to the floor plan. Let's go to the floor plan. Let's a bit close up. And now uh, look to the ribbon menu, uh, check the reference and point. And let's put the well, first point somewhere here. Okay, nice. Now I need dimension from my point to the reference line and again from point to reference line. And let's make it uh, 2000 from this side and 2000 from that side. Like this. Nice. Now we can just delete the dim dimension. We don't need it now. Uh, let's select our point. Let's mirror it. And again, let's mirror it. And one more time, like this. Uh, now let's select all our points and let's make it adaptive. Here we are. Choose this for two points and the, uh, click on the spline and we will create the one line. And now from two to the three, let's make this spline from three to the four, spline. Okay, it's okay. Let's make from the four to three and one two four here we, are, we have the our spline now just click on the uh, line if uh, w when you select this line it uh, select only one just use the top so I'm using now top and changing one or all these lines click on the lines and here uh, on the properties make it reference line here we are, it's reference line. Now we need to go back to the mm, modify reference and we should to choose point element and let's point it like one here, one here and one here and one here. Before we'll continue, uh, uh, select all these points and here uh, measurement type, let's change it to the select light. Okay, now we need one par uh, one parameter. So let's go to the parameters. Let's create new parameter. Let's call it um, top top panel. Let's make it instance and okay. And we need one more bot panel. Oh, sorry, something wrong today with my keyboard. Uh, like this also instance and okay uh, let's make the bot one it's uh, 850 uh, and this one 2850 like this okay now let's select the these two points uh, we will call it now uh, top panel so select one of them and here segment uh, length we will change to this parameter top panel and this one same top panel this one uh, as you understand is bottom panel and this one also bottom panel here nice uh, now we should create the, our panel so uh, what we're gonna do for now Again, we will go to the file, we create new one, family, and as I said, metric generic model adaptive. Let's go here. 
now we need to create the um, two points so let's go back to the ribbon menu uh, let's see the reference uh, point and let's put some point here one here one here let's close up a bit now i will select both the points and i will check it uh, i will change to the make adaptive okay and again select these two points and uh, choose the spline so we need the spline between these two points uh, now I'm choosing the, the spline and I will uh, transfer to the uh, reference line let's make the reference line and now let's the set uh, work plane uh, by using the top I'm using the uh, I'm choosing the vertical one here we are now I'm going to the model uh, rectangular and let's draw some uh, rectangular here okay here we are now I need the dimension uh, to make it uh, equal uh, let's choose dimension now it's equal now I'm sure this equal and now we need to use the command align or you can use on your keyboard AL so and we need to uh, align from this uh, surface and lock it and to this surface and let's lock it nice and one more thing before we continue we should uh, uh, we should deselect our uh, rectangular and now we should make it the uh, reference line here uh, let's make a uh, few touches so we need dimension from this side to this side let's make it here click on this dimension and here you can see uh, create the new parameter let's create the parameter and this will be mm, panel w and let's make it instance okay uh, now we need uh, choose the our reference line our rectangular and let's create the form let's choose this one and here positive offset we will uh, make this again new parameter let's make new parameter and extrude extrusion panel let's make it instance okay uh, okay nice now we'll go to the parameters and I will change uh, extrusion to 500 and panel I will change to 6.5 enter okay here we are. Now we need to uh, load it uh, to the previous our panel. So load it. Uh, my previous panel is family one. No. It's, it's uh, not this one. Uh, family two. So why I'm thinking family two. Here we are. Mm, we can go to 3D to more understand. Uh, what is that so uh, choose the first point and choose the second point and here same first point and second point let's try it just uh, I'll I'll select one of the adaptive point and put somewhere maybe I'll put some higher so this working control Z control Z and let's continue work now we need to create one more um, point so let's go to the ribbon menu let's choose the one point and let's put it on under the second one let's make it okay choose this uh, point uh, let's put it a bit above and let's make it adapted adaptive sorry and now we will go to the back view for example uh, I will use the dimension from this side to this one Okay, I'll go back to 3D. Where is my dimension? Oh, sorry, I forgot to accept. <laughs> it's actually it's here. Like this. Okay, uh, now I'll choose my dimension and let's create new parameter. Let's call it uh, left and let's make instance and reporting parameter because we no wanna change any position of our point and let's make it okay 
Now we need control our extrusion, uh, control uh, extrusion of our panel. So let's check. Uh, let's click on the first panel, and here the extrusion P. We will create new parameter. Uh, let's make it extrusion again P. Let's make it like this, uh, and let's make it instance again, and apply, and uh, let's apply on this one. Same. Now we need to uh, change the panel weight, so let's make it new parameters, uh, panel, let's make it like this, top, V, instance, OK, OK, and this one will be bottom V, uh, bot, V, instance, OK. So let's go to the parameters now and just write what I will write. My form is already here, so I'll just copy it. I'll copy it. Oh, sorry, copy. I'll go back and here top V. Let's put it. Uh, reporting problem. Okay, let's check it out. Let's cancel it. And how to check about the reporting line? If I open. Here we are, here are our problem. Let's go back, let's delete this dimension, select uh, both these lines, I mean the point, and let's filter, and uncheck adaptive point and reference point, uh, leave it check. Okay, and just delete. Now we need to gain dimension from this point to this point, let's put it here, uh, choose our, uh, our line, uh, and let's use the report one. Okay. And make sure we have the 5000 here. Let's make it again, 5000. Okay, nice. Now should everything work? So top V, our formula, nice, working. And uh, last one. Hold on. Control C and bot V. Let's put the second formula. Yes, everything is working. Okay, okay. So as you see, working. Uh, of course, you can save it if you want. And now we should create. Uh, actually, we should go to back uh, to new project or your project, whatever. I'll create new one. Let's create uh, new one, new project. Uh, let's make it architecture. Okay, okay. Here we are. Now I will go to the messing, uh, I will show messing and messing in place. Let's create some messing here, like this, nice, and create the form, okay. Uh, I'll go to the north view now, mm, let's extend a bit like this, and let's apply it. Uh, now I will copy the levels one level and two level I think yes this is enough go back to 3d so we get our cube uh, four levels story okay uh, now we should create something new I'll go back to the floor plan fl first level and now let's create uh, reference plane uh, let's create from this side to this side uh, let's select them and I'll put here some dimension here choose this line let's make them is, uh, extend like five meter uh, I'll choose my reference plan and let's call it a and now I'm going back to the north view now uh, I need one more missing just so let's create new missing reference and he asking about um, which plane we should use we using a1 okay and now uh, make sure you're using the uh, draw on the work plane and we need this plane so we need from this point this point this point this point and last will be here escape couple of the time and now select all of them uh, choose the copy and make sure it's multiply let's make it 5 meter it's not 5 meter oh, 
let's select all of them like this uh, five meter five meter five and the last one here nice perfect let's go to 3d as you see we will get something like this uh, now I'll just choose all of them and let's create form like this and now let's uh, make some settings for that uh, divide the surface now we need to uh, fix number 20 oh sorry 20 and from the beginning here we need distance 4 meter and also from beginning and let's apply it so we get our panel and one more thing uh, let's make it offset 1 meter like this here we are uh, now we need just copy this one to here let's go to the north no, we will go to the east view yes, this is better one uh, let's select all of them copy and copy till here let's go back to 3d view and as you see we have this two similar thing and two similar panel so let's choose first one uh, here the small bottom and let's make the nodes and here the same we need the nodes okay nice and this time to loading our uh, panel inside to our project so let's go to the back control tab uh, here we are uh, forgot one thing uh, between second and five we should create this plan let's create this plan and make sure it's reference let's load up inside to the project uh, yes override and uh, you can find in in component let's create one two three four oh sorry it's my mistake one two no it's from it's wrong side one two three four this side okay now select them and let's copy it as you see now uh, let's go to the shaded view uh, as you see it's all the panels now panels now same so if I will change this node here you can see just give the few minutes to calculate and you can see the it's become more bigger for example I'll change this node here and it will make some wave few seconds still calculating yeah so we make we now make some uh, parametric uh, panels without any parametric things only with the formulas without nodes uh, I think this is nice system so uh, even if I will finish that uh, we, we can we can use it uh, like on the facade whatever you want so if you have a question how you can hide uh, this uh, network it's easy actually just choose this network like this and here the surface just uncheck and the same for the second one and let's finish mess uh, if you will go to the messing inside uh, you should just switch off show face show the mess that's it and you will get only your geometry so thank you guys and see you next time